Welcome to the Canoga Park Youth Art Center's new series, Art Inspiration. For each class, we will teach you how to make a piece of artwork that was inspired by a famous artist and their artwork. Today, our inspiration is fish, all things fish. And the artist that we are inspired by today is Henri Matisse, Henry Matisse. And this is his goldfish painting. He made a lot of paintings about goldfish. But even though he made this lovely painting about goldfish, fishes have been part of art history for a really, really long time, especially with island nations where fish represented their survival fishing in the seas. So let's take a look at some examples of other cultures. This top one here, this is Van Gogh's famous painting of some fish. And below that, we have the Christian version of the fish. It's a symbol for Christianity. And below that, we have an Iranian vessel made with fish from 3,000 years ago. And we also have an example from India. This is part of the, their Hindu belief systems and Vishnu, and this is a piece from India. And then our next piece is from Japan. Now in Japan, the fishermen, when they catch a really big fish, they want to have bragging rights, and they don't, but they still want to eat the fish. So what they do is they get a piece of paper and they put some paint on the fish and they lay the fish on the paper and they make what we call a fish print. Now this fisherman has a record of how big his fish was and he still gets to eat his fish for dinner. Our last fish is from Panama. This is a mola. They call them Panamanian molas. Now this is a, like a big fat belt that they wear around their waist. And the way they create it is by layering different colored fabrics on top of each other. And then they take scissors and they cut away different layers so that the colors show through. They call it reverse embroidery. These are a source of great pride for the women who live in Panama. So you can see that all over cultures have made art about fish. Now, this is kind of where we're headed today. We're going to be kind of headed in this way today. So you can see how I've taken Matisse's goldfish and I've kind of simplified it in a way. I don't want you guys to get all, oh my God, there's so much detail in that, I'll never do it. You can see I simplified. And that's one good trick an artist can do. You don't have to draw every leaf on the tree. In fact, I'm going to show you how a child did this version of this painting. It's a kid like you. Now, when I see that, I know it was inspired by Matisse's goldfish. He's got the table, same kind of lakes. He's got his plants around. He's got his fish in the bowl. So you see there's a whole range of how this can be interpreted. Shall we begin? So when we start our fish bowl, the first thing I want to do is my table because that's like a big part of the room. And now Matisse was part cubist from time to time and that's why our table is tipped up. It's like we're looking at it from above even though we're not really. So here's our tabletop and I want you to see how I'm using sketchy lines. I'm not going in like this and drawing really, really hard. I'm doing sketchy lines so in case I don't like where it is, I can erase it more easily. So I've got my table, I need my legs. I'm gonna pop my legs down here. Super easy, right? Now it has a little ring going around the legs. So I'm just going to go like this. Like a little donut holding the legs together. Here's our table. Now we're going to make our fish bowl. Now look, I'm going to point out something to you. Whenever we want to make a round container, it's about smiles. Here's one smile. Here's another smile. And here's a third smile. And you're probably saying, Miss Donna, why in goodness sake do we need three smiles? I'm going to tell you why. Because we have a container, a clear container full of water. So I'm going to put the sides up here. Here are the sides of my fish bowl. Now, I got one circle. That's the bottom of the fish bowl. This circle, that's the top of the water level. And this circle, that's the top of the fish bowl. 
So the fishes are going to be down here. And this is where the food will sit for the fish. So I'll put in a couple fishies. Remember, they're just goldfish. Super easy. Here's an eyeball. Let's put another little fish going this way. Super easy. A little eyeball. But there's another thing about water. It reflects. And let me just remind you, look here. Do you see? Here are the fishes in his, but those are the reflections at the top of the water of the fishes. So we have to put those in too. Now, this, this fishy's reflection goes right here, and this little fishy's reflection can go right there. All right, so now we have our table and our fish. Now it's time for all the plants in the chair. I'm going to put in the same kind of chair he had, but you can put in any kind of chair you want. He has like one of these big wicker chairs. It kind of comes down here, and it goes down like that. This is the arm of the chair. Maybe you've seen those wicker chairs. And I'm just going to do a quick, they call this cross hatching. I'm just making, whoops, X's. You see how that kind of makes it look like it's one of those woven chairs? All right, so now I just got some big leaf action going on. I got a big heart-shaped leaf over here. And that's the line that the leaf uses when it constructs itself. Here's another big leaf coming up this way. And then I've got these other big ones coming up this way. And you guys can put in whatever kind of plants you want. Got another one coming up this way. And one last heart-shaped guy that way. Okay, now the big plants are done. Now it's time for the little stuff. Let's go down to this empty corner here. Now, I'm making a drawing. He made a painting. So I'm just going to make some shapes that look like big flowers. Maybe have some come right a little bit off. Maybe there's another one here. It's a little smaller. Let's put circles in our flowers. Let's give our flowers some leaves. Remember, flowers always have to have leaves. That's how they get the nutrition, is through the leaf. All right, so this basically looks the same. Now, do you see this line here? That, this is the floor, and that's the wall. It's kind of like the inside horizon line, where the floor meets the wall. Now, I've got these really cool, they look like little flying squids or jellyfish. Anybody here watch Spongebob? Don't they look like little jellyfish? And they got these little tails coming off of them. They're kind of connected. This is the wallpaper that's on the wall. But you could put in stripes, pokey dots, any kind of wallpaper you want. And then we've got another big cluster of flowers over here. So I'm just going to make some different shape because I want some variety. I don't want all of my flowers to look alike. I'm going to put some different flowers in here. Put some leaves in. Do, do, do. All right. Okay. Let's just make my table a little darker so you all can see it. Now, in his, he has some things here. He's got a little plant that's hanging out here. We can put things on our table. Maybe you want to put some car keys on the table. Let's put some car keys. See, this is how you make the art yours, by doing what you want to do to it. Here's the car keys. Don't forget the car keys. So, here's how we recreated... Matisse's goldfish, but I think we can do a little, Matisse was all about color, really about color. So to do a line drawing of Matisse seems like we're shortchanging him a little bit. So I'm going to show you my watercolor version of this. So I used an oil pastel to outline all of my different patterns and shapes, and then I went in with my watercolor and colored around. Do you see two shades of green? I see two shades of green. I added more yellow to the green to get it that lime green color. Remember, mixing your colors is a lot of fun and makes a way more interesting painting. So today we were inspired by Henry Matisse and his goldfish painting. And we learned about goldfish all throughout history. Who would have known that fish were so important? Well, thank you for joining us today. And come again and see who artists will be exploring again. Thank you.